Have you ever wanted to change the rules in a competition, like for Champions League? Well, in today's video, we are going to show you how to change substitutions, prize money, and many more. Once the editor has loaded up, you want to choose your database version. Obviously, at the moment, we've got Football Manager 2024, or we've got the updated version 24.3.0. That's the one we're going to utilize. Once it has loaded, we need to associate our competition to a nation. Because it sits outside of a nation and it uses multiple nations, it won't exist in a nation and we can only edit nation rules. All these competitions of so rules are hard coded in, like fixture rules, etc. So to be able to see the rules, we want to go to competitions and find the competition you wish to edit. So in our case, we want to do for your way for Champions League. If we want to do World Cup, as you can see, no nation associated, European Football Championship, no nation associated. And then as we go down, you've got for Copa Leopardadores, South America, no nation. So you'd have to do the same method on all of these to bring up the rules. So if we double click, we stay in details and we move over to nation where it is blank and we're going to select our nation. In this case, as I like to do, because I'm from England, I know the English nation set up very well, but I would say this, if it's Champions League, select a European nation. If it's a South American competition, choose a South American nation and so on. So now that we've chosen England, we will then have to go up to the top left and go to rules, add nation rules. Then we want to go to the drop down box of nation, choose current nation and choose the nation that you have associated the competition to. In our case, England. Add lower divisions and cups to existing structures and finish. Once you have done that, you want to go back up to the top left onto rules and press convert to advanced rules. And then it gives you a little reminder or a warning. That's okay, we're fine with that. We will press yes. And then we want to go to under here, it says advanced rules. So this is where we're gonna be choosing our headers, subheaders of context of those rules to then bring up the main stuff on the screen. At the moment it is showing rules for England. We don't want that, we want the Champions League. So click on the box and go down to your competition. Once that's selected, you want to click on the arrow and that opens up any potential differences of rules. So for instance, you've got the old format of the Champions League, which is in its final year in this game. And then you've got the new format happening in 2024-25 season. So be mindful of this. If you want to remain both of these, you will need to ensure you change your rules for both sets, unless you want your rules to change in the new structure. For this example, we are just going to change it in both. So for first thing that we are going to do in both of these formats, we are going to change the prize winner money and for runners up money. And to do that, drop down your format that you desire, go to stages and for prize money is obviously going to be at the final stage. So that's going to be in for stage three cup. And then you want to go all the way down to find rounds. And then again, round three, click the arrow, bring further information and then into general. Then we scroll down to the bottom here where it says prize money for winner, prize money for loser and appearance money. So we're not going to do appearance money, but what I'm going to do just for this example, just to show that it works, is I'm going to change this to 40 million euros. And as you can see, this is in euros, not pounds. So it will be slightly different when I load up a game because my currency is in pounds. So it could be, I don't know, I don't know what the rate is. It could be something like 37 million pounds instead of 40 million. And we are going to give them 20 million in runners up. So you get half and for winning it gets 40. And this is what editor is all about. It's just making game enjoyable to your to what you want it to be. Like nothing wrong with that. Then we're gonna go back up and close up for a minute to be able to do it in for 2024 format as well. Again, same thing we want to do, and that is stages, cup stage, rounds to final round and general. And there we go. We change that to 40 and 20 million. That's simple. Then we move on to the sub rules. 
Now, I learned on when we went through COVID, they added a little helper in one of the versions. And I was like, oh, that's good. And we're going to do that again. We're going to utilize a little helper so that we don't have to change the sub rules in every stage. Like, you know how we put in for prize money. With subs, you would have to go into every stage and change that. Whereas actually, I'm going to use a little helper to actually, for format of the whole competition, it's going to use these subs. So we'll start off first in 2024, and you want to go right down to the bottom of additional helpers. And what we want to do is we want to click add, and as you can see, it says helper. So you want to click on type, go to a drop down box, go down to miscellaneous, and you go down to move dates. And in move dates, you're going to just leave it all blank apart from click on substitution rules. And at the moment, I believe it's 12 from five plus some sort of extra time rule. We are going to do something extreme and we're going to go 15 from 15 just to make sure it shows up when we load up the game. And then same thing you want to do in for other format to over to 2021 down to the bottom. We've left that thing open. What I like to do is I like to close it all if I'm going backwards and forwards just so that I can find things nice and easy. Add it into here. Helper, type, drop down box, miscellaneous, move dates. And we're going to click. I mean, you can have it from certain dates if you want. But in this example, we are just going to keep it here. And again, 15 from 15. So we're just going to do those two, but you can go into the rules and play around yourself. I'm just going to do two for, as an example. So what you need to do now is you need to go up to file, save data as, and then what you want to do, I'm just going to save it over one of my test files, whereas we've already changed and tested for rules anyway, to make sure that nothing has changed in previous versions, or if it has, I can show you. And we're just going to press save. You can call it wherever you want. Once that's saved, if you look up in the top right corner, it tells you your saved name for your editor file, but it also says not verified. That means it will not work in the game. You need to verify any rule changes before it can work in the game. Database changes, it does not need to be verified. So what we need to do is we need to go to rules and test rules, and we want to test them all. Now, I'm not going to sit here through it all. I'm going to let it whirl away, and I will come back once it's verified. While we wait for the verification, just a quick reminder, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, we do have more editor content on its way because obviously the delay of FM25. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future content. Right, it has all verified, six out of six division levels verified. Obviously, it takes a while because it's got to do six divisions and it does about four or five seasons per division. So it does whirl away, but it's good that it does it. And if your nation is bigger than this, obviously it's going to take longer. Final step that we need to do before we go in game and I show you that it does work by doing this, you want to go up to file and save editor data. And now we don't get a warning, it just says editor data saved. Right, let's jump into the game and show you how to load up the editor file and our changes. Right, we've loaded up the game, start a new game, career. And then before you go on to the next step, remember database. We are on the database that we've made because as you can see, our builder nation, I can select it doesn't come up with a warning. And if we go over to the new version of the game, we did build a nation outside it apart from for the last one. So you can go back in and save it in a different format and it will warn you of any changes possible. So we are going to choose our file that we've just done and that is for rules change. So we tick on that and we confirm. Choose game mode, choose whatever one you want to do, advanced setup, and then we're gonna jump straight over to UEFA Champions League and we are gonna go over to for rules and fingers crossed, it should show you. There you go, substitution rules. 15 subs can be used from a maximum of 15 named. Tick, that works. I mean, you can go onto all of the rules, two for final, and as you can see, 15, 15. If we go to a final, it should also give us a change of the prize money. So 34 million, we put 40 million euros and that goes, I said about 37, now they get 34 million. Can't remember where it was before, I think it was half that, was it 20 million euros or something like that? But anyway, 
So if you win Champions League, you get more money. There you go. There's the changes. And it will also show up in the 2024 version. But I'm not going to advance the year. You just have to trust me on it. All changes. All done. There you go. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.